Hi guys, it's Anders. I hope the day is finding you well. So in this video, it's just gonna be a logic tutorial about using the gate and using it to create rhythmic patterns in things like drum and bass and your bass lines. So what we've got here is just a really quick pattern, just the ES2 as a Reese and a drum break. And what we're gonna do is use the drum break to create the pattern in the Reese. So at the moment it's quite static and just sounds like this. <laughs> Cool. So we've got those long, boring notes. The whole first bar, for example, is just that pretty static reese. Okay, so if we go onto that channel and we go into dynamics, and we're gonna choose noise gate, which is the noise gate that Logic has. If we use the side chain option up here, we're gonna choose a big break, or in your case, whichever your audio break is, or perhaps even just the kick drum, however you want to do it. And what we're gonna do is set this up so it just about triggers the break. And when that break triggers and opens the gate, it's gonna let some of the bass line come through with it. Well, that's okay at the minute, it's sort of doing its job. It's creating bit of a bit of a pattern there that's in time with the drums. It's not great in terms of timing, it just sort of peeks through for a moment. What we want to do is work out the timing of the track so that the notes can be musically relevant as well. So if we go over into the inspector, and if you can't see that on the left-hand side, just press I, it should bring it up. While you've got your channel selected, tap on more, go into delay, and in delay, we're gonna look up one over eight, which comes out at 172.4 milliseconds. What we're gonna do is work that out in here. So if we have our attack at say the 0.4, let's have our hold as the 100, and our release is around 70, that should, and react a bit better for us in terms of timing. Now that we can just use the threshold from here just to gauge how much we want each one to respond. So we start at zero, we'll get nothing, and we just dial it back to bring it in. make use of the hysteresis to uh, give it a slightly wider range once it's been triggered. So that's given us a new rhythm based on the drums. If we just turn the gate off and have a listen and turn it back on, we'd be able to hear that new rhythm. That's just a really easy way to create a new rhythm or a rhythm relevant to your drum track or any other element in the track using the gate. I hope the video has been helpful for you. Thank you very much for subscribing. We'll see you on the next one.